Hey, what's going on guys? It's Deltre and we are back with some more Fire Emblem 9 Maniac Mode. So in the last part we actually got our first taste of the game. Alright, fantastic. Did two or three chapters. Well, three if you want to count the prologue. I don't really count that. And we're going to continue on today. I don't know, maybe two more chapters. These first ones aren't very long. They're just, they're really not. They're pretty simple, all things considered. It's really the story that takes up the majority of the time. So there's a few things you guys told me since the last time. So I was pretty confused about Boyd and Oscar having this elevated crit level. Apparently, not only are there the regular traditional supports, you know, C rank, B rank, A rank, and so on, that you can level up in the game. Certain units also have predetermined supports that are, like, hard-coded into the game. So, like, Boyd and Oscar, they automatically have a support. As long as they're adjacent to one another, they get a boost in their critical hit. And it's usually characters who have, like, a pre-existing relationship. So that's pretty cool. It's like a combination of the old school supports that you would see in like Fire Emblem 3 or Thracia. Combined with the new wave supports that you would have seen in GBA. And now you have like Awakening and Fates that also kind of borrow from that system of course. But you gotta consider at the time there was only a few games that you could really compare it to. I digress. Pretty cool. Pretty cool addition for sure. Come, some of you guys wanted to know if I was going to be showing off some of the crazier glitches that are exclusive to the Japanese version. Yeah, I'm definitely going to. <laughs> I'm not going to abuse them, but it's definitely worth showing them because one, they are hilarious. And two, if you're like playing this for yourself or if you're like, man, I really want to see how fast I can beat this game or something like that. These are, these are they're like good things to know. They're good things to know. And, and if you don't know, if you don't know about this glitch, it's pretty stupid in the best possible way. So I definitely have to show that, at least once. Uh, the other thing that I can't believe I forgot to mention was that if you guys out there want to see, like, a specific character, post them up, man. Post them up. I'll do my best, but you gotta remember, there's only a certain number of units that I can use, and I also feel <laughs> a little bit shook by this game, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I feel a little bit shook. So I want to use some of the good units for sure. Uh, other than that, feel free to post them up to your heart's content. And hell, don't even feel discouraged if somebody already said the person you would want to pick. If I see a bunch of people requesting one character, I'm more inclined to use that character at all costs, you know what I mean? So, don't be afraid to make your voice heard. I would rather have this be more like, more like a community thing. Sort of like what happened with Tearing Saga. I mean, that was totally inadvertent, but you can just look. Compared to anything else I played, Tearing Saga definitely got a lot of, like, community support. It felt better that way, really. It felt like you guys were more involved, so... Don't be afraid to make your wishes known. Uh, is there anything else I really wanted to say? Hmm. Oh, yeah, one more thing, one more thing. So, yeah, I've played this game before. It was a long time ago, mind you, but I have beaten this game before. That said, I'm sure that there are people watching this who haven't really played this game before, so when it comes to the story, if it hasn't happened yet, don't talk about it. No spoilers. Please. Thank you. Just be considerate of other people. That's all I'm really asking here. Anyways... We left off on chapter 3. This one I do remember because we get to meet one of the better characters. At least in terms of raw ability, better characters. I don't remember their personality too much, I'll be honest. You wanted to see me, father? Sit down, Ike. We haven't had a chance to speak yet. Titania told me what happened while I was gone. About the kidnappings. About my own men disobeying Titania's direct orders. I was the one who left first. I'll take responsibility for everything. No fair playing the martyr. Nobody made me go with you. I left my own free will. Boyd takes no orders. I'm ready to accept my punishment too. Wait, what am I saying? <laughs> Please, Commander Grail. Titania entrusted me with her orders. If anyone's to blame for this mess, it is I. I'm the one who should be punished. I set a poor example, Commander Grail. Any punishment should be mine alone, man. I'm pleased to see that you are willing to shield one another. However... Regardless of your reasons, you disobeyed the orders of a superior officer. You were confined to quarters for ten days. No, oh, grounded at this age, man. Somebody told me Mist is 15. You can't see the air quotes that I'm making, but they're there, trust me. She must be 15 in the same way that Sakura is 18, right? Oh, Japan. But father, they did what they... They did what they did to help me and Rolf. Rules exist for a reason, miss. Men won't survive on a battlefield if they do as they wish without so much as a buy or leave. I understand. And accept the reprimand. That being said, we've got more work than we can handle. Your punishment is deferred until things calm down. Oscar, Boyd, 
Rice, you come with me. Crap, I left the bands on them. Shinon, Gotri. And you, Ike, you're with me. Oh, thank the Lord. Wouldn't have it on the other way. Oh, he's having a good old time. Yar har ho, me belly's emptier in me first mate's head. Grab me some grub. Oh, sick burn, I never noticed that. Port Talma. Port Talma, Port Talma. I'm oh, getting a nasty bit of flicker here. I apologize. That's the pirate ship in question, isn't it? Hi, they sailed into port a few days ago, and we've been causing trouble ever since. I pray that you and your companions can drive them away. You got it, Grandpa. I understand. We'll do all we can. Feathering sea scum is like shooting apples off a tree. Let's do the job and get out of here. Oh, Deputy Commander, you want standard thunder and lightning maneuvers here? Ah, uh, thunder and lightning? Sounds like you're making that up, Godfrey. Yeah, I crash into him like thunder and shit on Rain's arrows down on him like lightning. Sounds good. What are they talking about? <laughs> what should I do? Let's hold back and let Shinon and Gatri soften them up. Once they've whittled down the numbers, we'll rush the ship and wipe out whatever's left. I don't think that's gonna work though, because I do have to be sort of fast. If memory serves. Are you all ready? Grail mercenaries, move out. On my way. Here we go. Ready. Ah, oh, we can reposition and such. I don't know that I really want to. So you got some newbies here. Hold on, I don't... Hold on, I have to do the thing. So let's look at this guy first. Alright, so here we go. So we're looking at Shinon. He is, as you may notice by that portrait there, a complete and total asshole. Here are his growth rates. So he has 75 growth for hit points. A whopping 65 points for strength, which is good because that base is doing him no favors in the long term. Uh, 20 points for magic, which doesn't matter, I don't think. I don't think there's a magic bow. Maybe there is. Maybe I'm maybe I'm forgetful. Uh, 70 points for skill, as you would expect for an archer. 65 speed. 35 luck. A whopping 50 defense growth, which is really impressive, and 40% resistance. His main downfall is availability, but for now, he's really good. He also comes with provoke. <clears throat> I don't even need to read that to know that that says provoke, because let's be honest... Shinon seems like the type of guy to be yelling insults at the opponent from across the field. Standing over there like, hey, your mom's a whore or some shit. You know, it just, it fits his, it fits his personality to a T. Next, we have Gatri, who is not terrible for a knight. First of all, they were intelligent enough to realize that four move doesn't really cut it for any unit, so they've decided to give knights five movements by default in this game, which is a fantastic choice. Uh... As far as growth rates, they're pretty solid all around. So he has 80% hit points, 55% strength, pretty high like you might expect. Lower than Shinon, which is kind of weird. 5% uh, magic, 55 skill. His Achilles heal, which is 25 speed, but if you really wanted to, there's a way around that. A really great way around that, as a matter of fact. Uh, 25 luck, 60 defense, and 30 resistance. Pretty high for a knight, but he does have zero resistance base, so you still have to consider that. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. I don't know if I'm going to use him long term. In fact, I almost certainly won't. But while he's around, he's a useful unit. He's a useful unit. He also came with the Night Band, but I gave that to Ike. The Night Band increases strength and defense by 5% each. Oh, well, I'm talking about it. Bands, right? So in order to actually unlock bands, you have to beat the game one time uh, prior to them becoming available. Same thing for fixed mode. So you have to actually beat the game once before you can select that as an option. Now, when I was downloading the English patch, there was a separate file that included, like, an unlocked save, pretty much, so that I would be able to show these things off, instead of just kind of talking about them. I think it's better to have an example. It, it makes it easier for me to explain, probably makes it easier for you guys to understand what I'm talking about. I don't really feel like that makes the game any easier. It really doesn't. Uh, I really think that the bands, at least, should have been, uh, they should have been available on the first playthrough, because... By taking them out, you're actually removing an element of strategy, right? Item management. It's kind of like with the Crusader Scrolls in Fire Emblem 5. Part of that game, and part of maximizing that game, was your ability to manage your scrolls in such a way that units were getting the level ups you wanted to. Now, it's not guaranteed. I don't equip the Night Band and suddenly I'm going to be getting strength and defense every level. It sort of just helps me push my units in the direction that I want them to go. It's a good addition, but they should have been available right from the word go, in my opinion. Fixed mode, you can make an argument. 
But even then, I don't really see the point in locking that up. I digress. I think we are going to save the game, and now I'm actually going to play the game. By the way, I love this preparation theme. It's really good. It's a really good preparation theme. I didn't remember it, but I've been sitting here while I was looking up this stuff. I'm just humming along, man. <laughs> the music in this game is pretty good. Pretty good. All right, let's go. Begin now. Yes. All right, no pre-battle dialogue. We're jumping right in. That's fine by me. I think first thing I'm going to do is take advantage of that fantastic five movement and move Godfrey right into the middle of everything. His defense is so high at base, a defense base of 15. These guys cannot really touch him at all. Uh, let's see, 15, 16, 16. Yeah, you can see right there, they're not doing anything. And also, he's strong enough that even using the Steel Lance, he's not going to be in danger of getting doubled. So I can take advantage of that, and we should be good to go. Oh, and somebody asked me if I could turn off the the menu there. Let's see which one. The combat window? No, not the combat window. The help window. Yeah, we can turn that off. Oh, yeah, that does free up quite a bit of the screen, especially when I have it zoomed in. I, I can see where that would be a problem, especially if you're watching it on your phone or something like that. So, yeah, let's let's just leave that off. I have no need for that. And also, somebody told me that the bonus experience display only shows at the end of the battle. That's something I had forgotten, but thinking back on it, I do vaguely remember that. So, yeah, let's turn that on. I don't know why you'd ever want that off, really, but there you go. I guess you also have to unlock it, which is dumb, to say the least. Let's see. Nope. I'm gonna chip him with Shinon and give the kill to Ike. Mostly because I have the opportunity to right here. There's no real reason not to. I could just completely smite him. I might. She has a 6% chance to just kill him. Come on, Shinon. Don't let me down. There you go. I know he wants to. He relishes in the idea of screwing over Ike. I was almost debating killing him, but I'm not going to be able to hit the village with Ike regardless, so I'm just going to do that, and this is easy experience for our boy. Yeah, let's stick with the Iron Sword because I'll be able to double. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have quite enough strength to make that happen with a Steel Sword just yet. But within a level or two, especially with the Night Band equipped, he should be good to go. You guys also did confirm that there is an experience penalty for playing on Maniac. So that's fun. <laughs> let's go in with Titania, kill this guy. There's really no reason not to. You're kidding. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> Whatever, girl. Whatever. I want to... Well, this guy's going to attack Shinon because he has provoked. This guy will probably attack Shinon. He may attack Ike. I, I'm not entirely sure how much priority provoke actually has. I do want to let three of those guys... Do I? No, I don't. I want I want Titani to kill one of them. Here's why I had to be kind of fast. Hey, you, Boat Monkey, you tricked me, didn't you? Tricked ye? What a vile and nasty thing that is to be saying. Don't you agree, matey? Yar, that I do. There be nothing but honest pirates aboard this ship, missy. You said you knew the whereabouts of my older brother. That's why I came all the way back to your ship. Aye, and we do know. He was on board for a while, and then... Do you recall where he went, matey? Yar, that I do. He was a penniless oaf, so we tossed his worthless carcass into the rolling waves. Horse and everything. Yar, har, ho. My, my brother, that's horrid. Horrid? Did you say horrid? Your scurvy brother was the horrid one. He lost a game of chance, he did. If you lose, ye must pay. And the scallywag tried to cheat me. By Shanty Pete, he did. Yeah, that sounds alright. Are you calm yourself, me matey. Yar. Yar? Yar. <laughs> After all, his darling sisters come to pay us a visit. What say you work off your brother's debt? What say I run you through with my lance and call it a day? Yo ho har! It matters not that ye be a Pegasus knight, lassie. A wee minnow like yourself is no match for us sea dogs. Prepare yourself, ye flying wench. I'm not afraid of you, clam bake. If your axe is as dull as your wit, this will be over in no time. You tell him! Unfortunately, she suffers the curse of having to land before she can attack. Actually, no, that's not true. Okay, so they do go after Ike, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I'm alright. We'll be fine. I would have preferred him kill himself on Shinon, but there was really nothing I could have done about that. I guess if I was any good, I would have <laughs> I would have killed the initial fighter, or the initial pirate with Shinon, and then I could have moved Ike out of range so that he was forced to attack Shinon. Uh, the trick here is hoping that Marcia doesn't just fall over, because she can. And she looks like she's about to. 
Oh, well, that's annoying. There's actually nothing I can do about that either. This guy's going to attack Shinon, but Shinon can one-round him with ease, so I'm not concerned, really. Here's probably the only time you're going to see night animations, because after this, I'm turning them off. Gotri. You can't. Not like this. Well, I guess I can show them on player phase, which will explain better why I'm going- Gotri! Ugh. Well, that didn't work at all. I'm glad I sent Titania in then. God. Nobody can hit anything! Except Titania, of course. Oh my lord, I completely lost my train of thought now. That made me a little bit upset. <laughs> that completely ruined what I was gonna do. Please, Marcia. Yeah, now I have to restart anyways. That's one thing I don't like. Ah, nuts. Brother, I'll be with you soon. That sucks. I can't I can't take that, obviously. Yeah, that there was lit there was nothing I could have done about that at all. Let's see. Oh, I only had 58 though. Oh man, the hit rates are not as strong as I was expecting. Well, now I know that there's really no reason to use the Steel Lance, considering I can two hit KO them regardless. And I think given this situation down here. Man, that sucked. There was nothing I could do differently there. Alright, I was talking about the night animations. They're really slow. <laughs> They're incredibly slow. It's not as bad on enemy phase, but on player phase, good god. Because you have to walk all the way over to them, and it, uh, it just takes forever. Alright, in the interest of going a little bit faster, I'm going to forgo giving this first kill to Ike. That way, the archer will basically kill himself on Shinon, 9 times out of 10. I kind of like that sniper animation, actually. It looks very precise. Like he's, like, lining up a shot or something like that. To the best of his abilities. Okay, so if I move Ike here, he's not going to get targeted. Which is preferable. We can take this guy out, probably crit him again, because, let's be honest, it's Titania. 1 in 20 is actually more like 1 in 100 to her. Can't believe he actually hit me. They're actually hurting her now, too, which is kind of weird. She took 5. I mean, don't get me wrong, she has plenty, plenty more punishment she can take, but... It's a start. <laughs> Let's use the Iron Lance so that hopefully I don't get screwed again. And I also need Marcia to start dodging those hand axes. No, he's gonna go for Titania instead. That's fine as well, though. I don't want it to be too crowded in the south part of the map. Mostly because it's gonna be Ike down there, and I'm gonna try to move Shinon to the north. He is pretty good. I said he doesn't have that great of availability, which is true, but for the time that he's around, he's actually quite fantastic. It's also really interesting that he has such high defense. Marcia! Thank you. Okay, good, good, good. Sorry. Yeah, it's really interesting that he has such high defense because he actually makes for one of your better tanks, believe it or not. Yes, he can't retaliate, but if you just need to block a space, like, look at that. He takes two damage. That's nothing. So if you just need to block off a tile, it's perfectly acceptable to use Sheenon for that, especially because he has Provoke, so you can almost guaranteed count on him to get targeted. There we go, Gotri. More of that. We need to see way more of that. Hopefully I connect this one as well. He had much better... Okay, there we go. Oh, I can see that random stats are definitely a thing in this game. That's a bit unfortunate. I am going to have to send Titania in to help Marcia as soon as possible. Which is why I'm kind of moving her without regard to... Who's going to get much experience? Yeah, Titania is not going to get a lot of experience, but it's much better than the alternative of letting Marcia get dropped. Yeah, look at that. She starts in a really bad spot. She should deal a number to this guy, though. Yeah, she does. Heal and fly away. Fly away. Fly away, girl. You have a Pegasus! Ugh. In all honesty, I probably should have not Ike grab this village because I need to talk to Marcia, so I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But I'm going to do it anyways. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'll restart for that. I'll restart for that. Bummer. 
the bad news. Let's see, where is it? I also wanted to show the. Is it guide? No, it's unit, probably, right? Unit. Where is it? Yeah, if you scroll over far enough. It's untranslated, but trust me, at the top it says talk conversation there. You can see that Ike has a conversation with Marcia, and we have to get that if we want to be able to recruit her, obviously. So let's go ahead and make that happen. Now, I took a decent hit there. Unfortunate, a 41% chance is not that great. Not bad, kid, not bad. You know, I'm almost debating giving him the Angelic Robe, because if I had, I could have been more aggressive with him here. Yes, he's going to attack Ike, but he does almost no damage. And with the Mirvadon as the only other unit in range, I'm not worried at all. I'm much more concerned for Marcia because of this exact reason. Now, she should be okay no matter what happens. And she should also stay in place because... What? Oh, God. You're kidding. Did I do the math wrong? He must have rolled more strength this time. No. Last time, he only dealt six damage. I swear, because I, I checked it out specifically. Oh, no. That didn't take very long. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, fuck. How embarrassing. Oh, crit. Yeah. That's cool. I like that. It's very reminiscent of the GBA sniper crit. That's actually, that's exactly what it is, isn't it? It's the GBA sniper crit, but put into... Put into the dang form of a thing. <laughs> It's a 3D version, basically. Okay, Marcia, we know, we know. <laughs> it doesn't get old. There we go. So she lives. Oh, now she's just not going to get hit. That could be worse, though, because then she's going to be aggressive. Ike, I need you to dodge right here. Come on, my boy. If you get this dodge, then we're in an amazing spot. There we go. Yeah, now I don't even have to worry about anything. Nothing at all, man. Although this time I did manage to get Sheen unblocked, which it doesn't make a difference. Marcia dodged this time, so I'll be okay. Man, how embarrassing. Losing on chapter 3. Please dodge. Oh my gosh, she's going in! She went completely ham. She'll probably kill this guy, actually, which is not good. It's not bad, but it's not really good either. No, she does nothing. She must be programmed to not attack, which I prefer. I'm going to turn the animations off if that bothers you. I apologize. But we've been doing this for a minute, have we not? Let's see. I want to make sure that Shinon can shove him. Let's see. The thing that would make the most sense... Yeah. No crit! No crit! Crazy! Alright, so we ride in. Yeah, I don't mind her drawing those guys in. Shinon mercs this guy. Again, Shinon quite strong for this point in the game. With Gotri, I'm going to... Oh, gosh. There's really just no way that's going to happen, is there? Well. No. I can't do it. I can't do the thing I wanted to do. Oh, he actually has seven movement. I knew that, of course. So it would be much smarter than in that case to Iron Lance this guy. And then I can finish the other. He'd have to get incredibly unlucky to die here. I am rolling the dice a little bit. But it should work out. It should, in theory. I'd have to get hit by the pirates three times, and I don't. So automatically, he's completely safe. And even get some pretty nice experience, because this guy's gonna do nothing. 
and then the other guy is gonna get killed. Okay, and Marcia survives. That's all that matters. I feel like I got very unlucky the first time. She usually doesn't die. But it's one of those things, again, just like we saw in that one chapter of Tearing Saga, you can sometimes lose a recruitable unit before you have any chance to do anything about it. And it's quite annoying. It's quite annoying for sure. So these Myrmidons are going to kill themselves. I'm going to kill one of the, not the fighters, but the pirates. And then I should be able to get Ike close enough that he'll be able to talk to Marcia. I think. Uh, I might be one short. I might be one short. Yeah, I think I'll be one short, actually. I should have rolled the dice on the Steel Lands if I wanted to do this. Ooh, Marcia. Oh, baby. I also can't move Titani into range of the boss because I don't want him to suicide. I do have to get this talk, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to make it no matter what. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to make it regardless, so I'm just going to move him manually. No biggie. And then Shinon can hit the village. I don't remember if the boss moves or not, but again, it's not worth risking. It's just not worth risking. Besides, I can kill him on the next turn with ease, so, you know. All right. This town seems quite unruly, wouldn't you say? Is it always this dangerous? Oh, so it's plagued by pirates, is it? I see. That would explain why the people here seem so anxious. You appear to be a mercenary. Would I be right in supposing that you were hired to clean out the pirates? Here, perhaps you should take this. It might help you if you run into trouble contending with the pirates, but do hurry. I came all this way to see the world-famous fish market, and I'll never do so with those ruffians around. Best of luck to you. Wow, the NPCs in this game have a lot of detail. Don't they? Let's shove like anyways for being a slowpoke. And then I will kill this guy. Which basically eliminates any possibility of Marcia being in danger. And I also get to pick up the hand axe here. Which, as you might imagine, Titani's going to have quite a bit of use for. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. I mean, I, it doesn't hurt to see if he moves, right? Nah, because then if... Nah, I'll just, I'll just move there. I'll just move there. He goes after Ike. Not sure why. Your funeral, man. So was this route or defeat boss? I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> it is defeat boss. So we're going to do that. I'm going to talk to Marcia. Oh, crackers. Wow. Yeah, that's a thing that people say. I know what I get upset. That's my go-to uh, phrase, I guess. There's too many of them. I don't want to die here. Brother, this might be the end. Hey, are you all right? So cold. So, oh my. <laughs> What's the word? Hyperchondriac. Overreactor. Don't give up. Who are you? I'm a mercenary. The villagers hired us to get rid of these pirates. Are you Are you going to help me? Of course. Let me and my companions take it from here. You can escape while the pirates are distracted. Oh, hey, that would be fantastic. I didn't really want to fight these pirates. Thanks so much. I don't know what to say. I couldn't think of that on my own, apparently. You don't have to say anything. It's all in a day's work. Pshaw! You're helping me out. I should show some gratitude somehow. That's nice, but I can't think of anything off the top of my head. You could join us! <sighs> Just get yourself somewhere safe, please. Well then, I'll come talk to you about repaying my debt later. What's your name, handsome? Ooh, ooh. Uh, I'm Ike. I'm with the Grail Mercenaries. Ike, got it. And I'm Marcia, Pegasus Knight of Begnon. Don't forget me. All right, I'll be seeing you later. And now she remembers that she's on a winged horse and flies away. <sighs> Pegasus Knight should, in theory, have the easiest job in all of Fire Emblem, but here we are. Do I bother getting the kill with like Because if I killed this guy with like he... Oh, no, 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 I didn't pick up the hand axe. Yeah, I, I can't... I'm not going to forgo that. Okay, Titania, we get it. We get it. Oh, God, I actually broke her iron axe already? <laughs> well, good thing I kept the other one. Gautry's going to... Yeah. I'm going to shove this guy so that he's tempted to attack Ike. Because I want Ike to try and get a kill. No, what are you doing? 
the boss did move. Oh, I have the animations off still. I'll turn them back on. Yar har har! You're busting me balls, you rudeless fool! Do you truly think you can face me, Mighty Axe, and live? I could ask the same thing of you. Back on we go. I think just having Ike simply attack this guy will get him a level. Does she kill him with the hand axe, though, is the biggest question. She probably kills him with the hand axe, but if she does not, I'll be salty. I'm gonna do it anyways, because 39 is not anything that I'm really concerned about. Get back what you've stolen from the good folk here and set sail. Yar har har! Now I know you touched in the head last- oh, touched in the head. <laughs> We show him our accents and say, Yar! And the Golden Grub come raining down. We'll not be giving this up. I see. Looks like we'll have to rely on force of arms then. I like how Ike just doesn't care. Like, yeah, whatever. This guy's wild. Yes, that was a level up. Perfect. I would like to see strength and defense. Ike, you're busting me here. I really need him to level defense. He hasn't hit it one time. That's exactly what I'm talking about with Ike's gross being so sort of solid all around, but at the same time, he's not really specialized in any way, so there's always the chance. I don't even know how to respond to that. Crit? No. Huh. I'm not sure what happened there. I actually don't know what happened there. I do know that I don't want to break... Yeah, I don't want to break the thing. I don't want to break the hand axe, so I'm not going to move her into range of anybody else. And I'll just have Shinon kill this guy for the lulz. Huh, Titania can miss? I guess you'll learn something new every day. Now, the boss probably gets himself murdered. Actually, no, he has a hand axe. What am I saying? So why would he? But he probably misses, like, regardless. Ugh, that level up was very disappointing, though. I would have been better off not leveling him up. And then... Oh god, we're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing this, okay. He's gonna miss, though. What the fuck? <laughs> he had like a 40%. You're kidding me. Why? <laughs> Why is my luck like this? I guess I had that coming somehow. Uh, that makes me upset. <laughs> that makes me very upset. Okay, so maybe this time we don't get bodied. That's the plan anyways. I'm just gonna have Titania draw this guy first, then I probably kills him. I don't know, now I'm shook. Now I feel like Dyke's not good enough. Move Titania there. Moving with like Trader over to the hand axe. And then we can talk to Marcia, she buggers off. And then Shinon's just kind of chilling. Grabbed up that elixir, though. Yeah, the Myrmidon's gonna attack Ike. No, he's not. He's gonna run away. Fair enough. Now the boss should move in, attack Titania, and then Ike should be able to kill him. As long as I hit twice, which I might not, in all honesty. There's one. There's two. Okay, so this should be... This should be it. This should be good game. And hopefully I get a better level up this time, because that was really bad on the last one, I'm not going to lie. There we go. Yar, har, help me. Nah. Nah. Okay, there we go. Come on, big money. Really, defense would be just fantastic. Come on, Ike. Come on, Ike. Come on, Ike. He also drops the thief end, which gives five skill and five speed. <sighs> We've driven off all the pirates. Your people will suffer no more indignities at their hands. Oh, that is joyful news. Here's your pay, as promised. Thank you very much. And if you find yourself in need again, do not hesitate to send word. Of course, of course. All of you put on a most marvelous show. Such combat skills. To be honest, I was expecting Commander Grail to be here today. When I saw just you, nothing more than, no offense, a band of children. Well, I will admit to being a tad nervous. I mean, we only died, what, twice? <laughs> And then Marcia died once as well. So he's not entirely wrong, I guess, but we did it. We pulled through. We're still here. We're still in this. I apologize for troubling you. Unfortunately, Commander Grail had other pressing matters to attend to. You're just not that important, old man. Oh no, don't apologize. There's no need after all. You got rid of those brigands, and you did impeccably well. 
It's a fine compliment you pay, sir, but it was our pleasure. As a matter of fact, you've been more than good enough to be in the Royal Army if you so desire. Especially your Commander Grail. He's far and away better than most any general I've seen hereabouts. Er, uh, what I mean to say is, don't you think running off pirates is a bit beneath you? That's not. Don't get me wrong now, you certainly helped us all simple folk out. All of us simple folk out, there we go. Even so, it seems to be the proper place for you when your Commander Grail is in the service of the Crimean throne. Well, that's what this old man thinks. We and Commander Grail are quite satisfied with the work we do now. You've nary a selfish bone among you. Well, th well, he obviously didn't see that red-haired archer flying around. Well then, rest assured, we'll speak again if any problems arise. Thank you again. Hmm. Titania, is something amiss? No, of course not. Our mission is complete and that's all that matters. You did well today, every one of you. Ah, jobs like this barely make a dent in my incurable boredom. It's like that old buzzard said, there's something better out there. Something with a bit of challenge. Shinon. I'm joking. J-O-K-I-N-G. No, you're not, dude. Shut up. Come on, Titania. Be honest. Don't you find the work we do a bit disheartening? Unglamorous? What? You too, Gotri. What's gotten into you? Please. Look, we're not a band of money-hungry recruits. We're professionals, and we're very good at what we do. Shinon and I have discussed this at length. All this mundane mercenary work is unworthy of us. We're wasting our talents. I see. You're telling me that you think Commander Grail is mismanaging us. Do I have that right? Whoa! Hold it right there. That's not what I'm saying at all. What is it, Titania? What's what? You seem so angry. It's not like you. Hmm. Exactly. I just got the right of it. It's just that I... Look, we do good work and we help people. I want you to be proud of that. I felt like you were saying that work doesn't bring fame and fortune isn't worth doing. That's all. No, you're right. We are the ones who ought to apologize. Enough. Let's get going, shall we? Rest is part of our jobs, too. We can't go into the next battle exhausted. Now that's a plan. I'm so hungry I can eat a wyvern. Is that really what they would say? They have horses. Horses exist in this universe, so why not just make that, like, what, euph no, not euphemism. Why not just say that? Why would... <laughs> Okay, whatever. Maybe wyvern meat is a delicacy for all I know. Titania. What is it? If you're looking for pride, I have it. Hmm? You and my father have kept this mercenary group together. And I'm just proud to be a part of it. That's all. Ike. Ike's a good kid. Ah, I'm surrounded by idealistic fools. What's so wrong with fame? What's wrong with having money to live well? I'm not an asshole at all. Okay, Shinon. Okay. Calm down. Could definitely do one more. I can't believe I died in that chapter three. Come on, chapter three. This one I almost expected to die in because it's pretty difficult normally, or at least it's definitely a step above. But now it's maniac, so I'm almost certain something is gonna go wrong. <laughs> well, maybe not. Who knows? Ike, Ike, I've got to tell you something. Listen to this. Settle down, miss. It's too early for you to be yelling like that. Now, what's going on? Fifteen. No, it's impossible. Soren's back. He just arrived. Really? That's odd. He wasn't supposed to return for a while yet. I know. I wonder what he's doing back so soon. It's probably nothing to worry about. I'll go and talk to him. Where is he? In the mess hall. I think he wanted to talk to Father. Right. I'll go check there. Troubling news indeed. Gather the troops. Yes, Commander. Ike, if you've got time to waste, you've got time to work. Go over to the briefing room. Yes, sir. Hey, what's going on around here? So this is Marouge. He goes by Sword now. Just throwing that out there. Bad news. Something is happening and we need to formulate a plan of action. Soren. Hello, Ike. Long time no see. I'm happy to see you're back. But what happened? I thought you were going to be studying for a while longer. It's a long story. What's the holdup? Get over here now. Let's go. I'll fill you in later. Ah, <sighs> Soren, Soren, Soren. I'm just, I'm not even going to touch on it. I think it just speaks for itself. <clears throat> you probably remember that Sora's been training with another mercenary group. Well, he's back now. And he has some unbelievable news. What news is that? It's Crimea and Dan. They've gone to war. War? It, it can't be. That's why I called everyone here. Soren has some more information. Go ahead, Soren. All right. Take a look at this map. Ah, it's a map of Crimea, quite detailed from the looks of it. Yes, this is Meliora, Crimea's capital. 
Our base of operations is right about here. Everything started three days ago. I needed to do some research, so I went to the archives of Melior's Royal Library. Nerd! Without warning, the scream of a terrible beast, a wyvern perhaps, rent the air, and the building was rocked by a tremor. I rushed outside and saw wave after wave of knights, cavalry, and wyvern riders, each clad in glistening ebon armor, black as night. The day in army. Correct. Was there provocation? As you know, relations between Crimea and Dan have never been friendly. However, the past centuries have only seen minor skirmishes, nothing that has ever approached the scale of this attack. It was brutal and without warning. The day in laid capital to waste. I've never seen destruction on this scale before. A swift attack, devastating and brutal. A daring gambit indeed. Sorry, I was having flashbacks to another certain gambit from this... This, like, series of games. But if it succeeds, a very well-chosen one at that. Yes, the King of Dayan would not hesitate to employ such treacherous tactics. What happened next? I like this little bit of backstory we're getting, though. It's really setting the stage. Something that other games could probably do better. <clears throat> Crimea's brother deployed the Crimean army to... Or no, excuse me, King Crimea's brother deployed the Crimean army to meet the attack. The king ordered his people to flee the city before the battle reached them. Fearing the worst, I also fled and made my way here. So we don't know how the tides of battle flow now, do we? You got that right. That's alright. Word of the war cannot have traveled far yet. We may well be the first ones out there who know of it. You did well to bring us this information, Soren. I know some risk was involved. It was nothing. Dan has invaded Crimea. We may be mercenaries, but this still affects us. What are we going to do? Now that's the question of the day. How do you see it, Titania? Crimea is the closest thing our company has to a homeland. The Crimean royal family and noble houses have been generous, providing us with many lucrative jobs. From a moral standpoint, as well as a business one, it's in our best interest to help Crimea. And you, Soren? I agree on one point. We are mercenaries. We are not Crimea's private militia. No coin has crossed our palms, so I think we should stay out of it. So you would have us sit and watch as Crimea is overrun? I would. Dan's numbers are superior, er, excuse me, Dan's troops are superior in both numbers and morale. The chances of a Crimean victory are slim indeed. But Crimea is ruled by King Ramon, who is known throughout his land for his wisdom. For his wisdom. And his brother, Duke Ranning, is said to possess peerless valor and courage. Dan may not find victory so easily. Valor and courage are for children's tales. In terms of military prowess, Dan's King Ashnard is every bit Lord Renning's equal. Victory will hinge on troop numbers and supplies, and I think Dayan is superior in both. The outcome is painfully obvious. Curse you, Soren. The Grimean is not doomed. I like Titania's losing her cool. She's like, she's, ugh, she's so close to just reaching out and smacking a bitch, you know what I mean? You can just feel it. If they can turn aside Dayan's initial thrust and turn it into a test of endurance... With the Crimean army both demoralized and ill-prepared, they simply will not be able to hold out that long. God, Zorin. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. Both of you. I hear what you say. However, we must ascertain the current situation before we decide on any action. On a side note on Zorin, yes, I know why he's like this. Don't spoil it. We'll send a scouting party to get a closer look at Melior. Ike, I want you in charge of this. Assemble your men and get going. What? Me? Titania will accompany you as an advisor. Thank God. I'm just glad that the game doesn't deny you Titania for any meaningful amount of time. Because if so, oh good God. <laughs> Commander, you must be joking. He's just a boy and he's barely had any more taste of a battle than... Wait, he's... <laughs> he's just a boy and he's barely had more than a taste of battle. What do you expect a whelp like him to accomplish? Ah, Shinon, since you're so concerned, you can go as well. Ah, oh, God damn it. That's not what I... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Who else? Godfrey, Rice, and Soren. That should do. Oh, God forbid you give me Oscar and Boyd. Yeah, okay. Father, wait. Why do you want me... That was an order. Get moving. There's no time to waste. Yes, sir. Titania, I'm going out for a bit. I want you to give Ike some direction. Understood. Yes, sir. Ugh. <laughs> I forgot how unavailable uh, Oscar is in the beginning stages, which is kind of bad. He didn't get very good level ups. I mean, they're all right, but he didn't get hit. He didn't hit strength, which is kind of important. Ike, wait up. What? 
Here, this is for you. Ooh, the regal sword. It's like a rapier. A sword? Where did you get it? From father. He told me to come and give it to you. It's beautiful. This is the first sword you've gotten that wasn't a hand-me-down from somebody, isn't it? That's great. Yeah. Well, be careful. Oh, and bring me a souvenir. Something nice. I've never been to Melior before. Mist, I'm not going on a vacation. Jeez, Louise. Capital Way. Alright, looks pretty docile, pretty boring. I'm sure it's not going to turn into a battle. Most likely, anyways. Ellipses. Are you feeling alright, Ike? You haven't said a word in quite some time. I don't understand what my father's doing. Why put a new recruit like me in charge of something so important? You're going to succeed him as our commander one day. Don't you think he wants you to know how to lead? Me? I don't... I don't know if I'm capable. And even if I am, that day's a long way off, right? I mean, I'm inexperienced, weak. I'm nothing compared to my father. I'm not so sure about that. When I look at you, I see a young man full of promise. Commander Grail is a great man, but I think you'll be every bit as equal. In time, you might even surpass him. Don't be ridiculous. It's just my opinion. You need not pay it any mind. Yeah, if you fear for your own weakness, why not take this chance to go out and better yourself? That would be more in keeping with your personality, no? I suppose you're right. Hey, what's going on? How do things look over there, Soren? Save is here. There are corpses strewn everywhere. There are quite a lot of them, especially when you consider how far we are from the capital. Are they Crimean? Judging by the armor, the vast majority of the dead are day-in soldiers. So Crimea has the upper hand. Just the opposite, I think. The Crimean soldiers were members of the Imperial Guard. That means King Ramon, or another member of the royal family, was on the move when day-in soldiers fell on them. Could it have been Lord Renning? No. As the Crimean army still draws breath, Lord Renning will not leave their command. Perhaps another member of the count of the, of the court. We just got day-in soldiers moving in on a location, and they don't look happy. Bum bum bum. Bum 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 bum. Ah, uh, yes, the day-in theme. I remember that. He is a knight, unfortunately for him. My Jin. You there, who are you? What are you doing here? We know when you need... Your aunt, heed me! Drop your weapons and surrender. Act quickly or else. Listen to me, fool. You're making a mistake. We're not... Ah, not going to cooperate, eh? Ready your weapons, men. Move in and kill them all. <sighs> Headstrong fools. Getting caught up in some skirmish is not part of the plan. But they're obviously not going to listen to us. Grill mercenaries, get ready to fight. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. Alright, I let's see how you can handle the role of captain. Well, what are your orders, boy? We'll do what you say so long as you hurry up and spit it out. I know, I know. I'm thinking. Give me a moment, will you shit on? God, jeez, get off my back. What are you, my dad? Ah, useless. We'd be better led with mist than this soft, untested whelp. Well, fuck you two, then. Okay, how am I doing this? I need to look at this. I need to look at this and decide what I'm going to do, otherwise it's going to turn into a train wreck real fast. So hold up. Actually, first, we have Soren. Alright, so Marouge here is pretty good. Uh, he has 45 hit points growth, which is pretty pretty sketchy to say the least. Uh, 5 strength growth, and you might be thinking, well, he's a mage, so that doesn't matter. But the truth is, it matters a ton. Uh, despite the fact that mages generally have lower strength growth than average... Uh, they still need strength in order to counteract the weapon weight, so this only weighs one, so thankfully he only loses one point of speed from this, but if he never gets any strength, then he will always be losing speed, so that's something to consider. Uh, he has 60% magic growth, again, pretty good. Uh, 55 skill, 40 speed, which leaves him in that area where he's pretty susceptible to having screwage happen in either way. He could very easily get blessed as well. That's the thing about those middling growths. 30% uh, luck, 15 defense, and 55 resistance. All in all, Marouge is pretty good. Uh, he's a wind mage. Each of the mages that you get in the game are usually divided into like separate schools. So you would have a wind mage, a fire mage, a thunder mage, and so on. Uh, wind magic is very, very weak, but incredibly accurate. The problem with it being so weak is the fact that 
because each school of magic has its own effective bonus associated with it. So for example, wind magic is good against flying types, as it is in most Fire Emblem games. Because of the fact that it has such low might, it's very hard to capitalize on that bonus. That bonus? That boost, I almost said. Combined boost and bonus, I guess. I, I don't know where my mind is at. But you can see what I'm saying. It's harder to capitalize on that because even if I'm going at a, a, a Pegasus Knight, for example, I'm not getting that much boost. So, in that sense, the other schools of magic have a much better time doing what they need to do. He comes with Adept, so he has a speed percent chance of getting an additional attack. Right now it's only 8%, but as the game goes on, that becomes more and more relevant. Now that said, I definitely need to see what I'm going to be doing here, because... Oh god, there's units everywhere. And just hurtling up seems like it would get me killed, so yeah, hold up. Sure it would be great if I could use Oscar or Boyd... Okay, so this looks like absolute hell. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I think I want to try to get those archers to kill themselves on Shinon. I don't. I don't double the Mirvadon. I don't double the Mirvadon, guys. Oh god. That kind of messes up my entire strategy. <laughs> hmm. Well. I guess I shouldn't assume that Titania is just that good. She usually is, but right now, I, I guess I should kill, can I kill this guy? No, I actually can't. So I'll kill this guy instead. Maybe if she would have gotten a level up by this point, it would be possible. But even then, I would have needed to get strength. Ugh. I'm gonna try to do like this. Mmm, Steel Lance would do a lot more damage, but... Well, he has no avoid. Steel Lance would give me not a lot of hit, though. Mmm... I'll do it. I need Rice in the corner. Boom, that's where he can attack. Maybe I should have went after him regardless. I don't know, Shinon's gonna move here. And hopefully his Provoke kicks in, forcing the archers to attack him over anybody else. It might, it might not. I would think it would, because they can't actually damage anybody else, but that has never stopped them before. For Ike? Shoot, man. He has five defense to their 12 attacks. So that's 12 damage right there. Plus nine will kill him because he's just, he's not had any luck. I'm doing this correctly, right? Yeah, I've just not had luck. Luck has not been with me at all. I really have been debating using the Seraph Robe, but there's so many people who want it more. There's just so many people that want it more. Hmm, would it be better for Ike or Sora to get attacked by this guy? Why does, why does he get doubled? That doesn't actually mathematically make sense, does it? Oh, yes it does. Yes it does. At any rate, if Ike gets attacked by both guys, he's he's done for, right? I think so. And Soren just dies. He just falls over. God, he's just not good enough. One point of health. You, this is exactly what I'm talking about with the growth rates, though. One point of health made all the difference in the world. And because I didn't get it, I think that I'm honestly best off just rolling the dice here, because... I really want these guys to kill themselves on Shinon. I think I... It's not even so much of a want. I need them to kill themselves on Shinon, otherwise this gets so much harder. I'm also going to do animations, but I'm going to turn off Titania's because she's going to be killing so much. Uh, shoot, I... Do I use the robe? If I use the robe, this becomes not an issue at all. Actually, if I move him here, he can only be attacked from one angle. Right? But I don't... Do I double this guy? I should double this guy. I do. This guy will double me, but that doesn't actually matter. Because I can heal him right back. So I'll move there. 
Yeah, I'll move there. And hopefully this works. Actually, the Miriam's gonna attack. Oh, I guess he can't. Right, of course. Of course. <laughs> That's the most nonchalant dodge I've ever seen. <laughs> it's like, oh, you missed me, bro. So here comes this guy. He's gonna double like... I was truthfully very much hoping that we would see the soldier move first. But that didn't happen. This guy's gonna die. He's incredibly dead. Please let the archers attack Shinon. Now I know... It, well, it's basically chance. Provoke isn't 100%. So they could attack... They could attack Titania and Gotri despite the fact that they will do no damage. Just because they won't be retaliated upon. But there's a good chance that this works. No, why would it? Why would it? So uh, I think I lose. Yeah, this guy... He took the bait. It's just going to be a matter of this working out, I think. Why didn't I steal bow? So yeah, I've completely messed up. That part is on me. I should have used the steel bow. But there's really no predicting. Yeah, this isn't going to work. I need to rethink this. There's Yeah, there's no way that's going to work. We're doing this, huh? Chapter 4, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so I think there's an obvious solution to Soren being doubled, and I can't believe I didn't think of it. You know, I'm just going to turn them all off, because this is going <laughs> to... There's so many enemies. There's so many enemies. But all I have to do to avoid him getting doubled is just simply de-equip his weapon. But I don't really know where that's going to take me, all things considered. Uh, maybe without a weapon, they'll just attack Shinon instead, considering that he won't be able to kill. Uh, at least, so I hope. I, I don't know where this is going to go, man. I should use the, the Iron Lance because then there's a chance I double these Steel Lance guys. Not even a chance. I will double the Steel Lance guys because they just lose too much speed. Shinon is going to attack this guy, obviously. And we do want him to use a Steel Bow, otherwise he's not going to be able to take on the Archers. Failing that... Problem here is they can very easily attack Ike because they can get a kill on him. I I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, man. I just have to hope the provoke comes through. It should. It might not. Okay, there's one. That's great. Good dodge, Rice. Good. They're moving towards Titania. That helps a lot more. I need them to not bother this group here to the south. So there's one soldier dead. Your funeral, bod. There's counter. Oh boy. You can see how useless that skill is. That literally did not help me in any meaningful way. Okay. So this is looking a little bit better. I really need those archers to kill themselves, though. Unfortunately, having to unequip my weapon means I'm not retaliating on that guy. If the archers attack Shinon, I can do this. If not, it's a lot harder. But should actually still be possible. Nope. I need at least one of them to, though. I absolutely need one of them to do it. Oh, come on, man. That's just bad luck. Nothing I can really do about that. I think I lose. I probably lose. Honestly, this is one of the most ridiculous chapters I've ever seen. What if... No, there really isn't a what if. I just kind of die. I just kind of lose. Don't I? Maybe not. I... I don't know. Let's see. Does Gotri... Gotri does kill that guy. Let's think about this then. Oh, come on. Gotri kills that guy. Does Shinon kill this guy at least? He does. So I could maybe make something happen. I 
I need to move my guys to the south to the north. I have to do that. Can I kill the Myrmidon? Because he's way scarier. 11 plus... Oh, now she doubles him. Fantastic. Oh, that being the case... Let's see. Oh, but then this archer is still way too close. What about this fighter? What can he do? I think we're on track, though. I think we're on track. If I kill this guy... Rice not getting hit really helps there. I could have also given him an elixir. Which would let him continue to tank. Quote unquote tank. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because Soren can never actually get hit. I can never allow Soren to be hit. Because he will fall over. I gotta think really hard about this next move. Um, Ike can soften this guy up. No, he can't. Nothing has really worked out in terms of growths, I guess. Yeah. I was gonna say he can soften up and then Soren can finish him, but that's just simply not possible. Uh, that being the case, I, above all else, need to avoid that guy. Well... I can allow Rice to get hit, and then I can be on the south, I guess. But he's going to be in range of the archers, which is not good. And killing the Myrmidon is actually non-negotiable, so I guess I should just do that. Thank you. Okay, phew. It's <laughs> holding my breath there, man. Is that S? Already? So soon? I don't know why I'm acting surprised. It's not surprising at all. Actually. Yes, she stands there. Okay, this works. This works. So Ike stands here. Does he double with the steel sword? Because if so, he does, but then I... <laughs> such a significant risk. I don't think it's one I can afford to take, either. Do I lose anything by attacking this guy with, like, right now? The, uh, the archer, that is, to say. I think the answer to that is no. And... Man. I honestly think that I can afford to do this, though. Right? I know I'm being indecisive, but this map is a hell of a map, from what I can see. Rice will move here, and then I'll trade him back to the Iron Sword to maximize my evade. And then Soren moves in. I actually don't lose anything from attacking him. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So I can. And I assume... Well, just out of curiosity. Would I have been too a KO'd? I assume I would. Yeah, I would have. So, yeah, there was no point in even trying to attack him. Okay, we should still be in this. I think we're still in this. If I can just survive this initial onslaught, all is well. Go to attack Shinon. Well, that's tentative because that hurt a lot. Oh god, that hurt Titania a lot. Titania is actually in a little bit of danger. Not a lot, but it's enough that I should really start thinking about her well-being. This guy dies. If he has a Steel Lance. But he doesn't. This guy straight up dies. Oh man, all this chip damage though. All this chip damage is really starting to add up. And I would really like the archers to start attacking Shinon. Strength, please. Strength, strength, strength. Ah. <sighs> 
So here comes a hit on Rice. Shinon. Attack Shinon! <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> Why is this... Why is this happening? I hope he has a Steel Lance. He did not. Fantastic. Uh, I'm actually not sure what I'm supposed to do here. We started out so strong, but like, there's only so much I can do. Well, at least these two soldiers are gonna die. They're gonna for sure die right here, right now. Oh god. <laughs> oh gods. But I still have the issue of two fighters and two... There's like three archers surrounding me. Sword is useless at this point. Sword is completely useless at this point. He might be able to kill this guy. He does. But then the issue becomes literally everything else. Yeah, there's... If I... Shoot. Let's say Soren kills this guy, and then I can kill this guy. Then this guy can sneak in and just murder Soren. Would there be a way to make it so that Soren can only be attacked by one archer? I don't know that this is possible. Well, Titani can kill one archer. Do I need to kill archers, or do I need to kill this fighter? Actually, she can't. She didn't get strength. If she would have gotten strength, then I could kill him, but I can't. That's why I was really, really hoping for strength there, man. Uh... Well, I could put Ike on a bush and pray. <laughs> I mean, that's always an option. That is always an option. Because I can kill those three and then the others would be kind of forced to go the long way. Because I could block with the rest of my guys. How confident am I in that? God, man. He has 103 hit. He has 93 hit. He's going to have a really good chance to hit Ike. The archers have 99 hit and 109 hit. I thought I turned off the... Oh, I didn't. Oh, I apologize. That was supposed to be off. The help window. Oh, shoot. Um, Let's see. How much avoid did these give anyways? They give 10 avoid. That's not really... I don't feel confident in that. Can Shinon pick up a kill? I can kill some of the knights. Or the soldiers, rather. I could kill the... I could kill all three archers. I don't know that that would help. Would that be the way to go? Because, see, I killed this guy. I think so. I killed this guy. I killed this guy with like. I killed this guy with Titania. I killed this guy with Shinon. And then Godfrey holds down the fort. He would stand where Ike is so that. Yeah. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Soren picks up his first kill. I don't know if I'm using Soren or not. I don't know how you guys decide. Soren or Skirts? It's up to you. We want this... Shit. The Regal Sword has a better evasion. Right? Because I don't lose any... Yeah, it's, it's pretty significant in this instance, so I'm going to use the Regal Sword. I guess I could have used the Steel Sword and then traded. That probably would have been better, but... That's not what I did, so here we are. I just need like to I just need him to tank man. I do gain a point of defense. 
That might be the saving fa Yeah, that'll save me. I'm actually in no danger if I do this. Perfect! I think I should heal to Tanya, maybe? Because she still has a lot of work to do here. Gotcha, do I even mind him attacking? No, not really. There we go. Phew! So unless things go really, really wild here, we should be okay. I think we just secured the win. That was a hell of an opening. I can't... No, there's no, like, full danger zone. Whatever. Yeah, it looks like you have to manually select the guys, but... Rice is totally fine. We're gonna heal to Tanya. Ike needs to be hit by the Steel Axe guy in order for this to be bad. I Oh, shoot, I forgot to trade him to the Iron Sword. No, we're good. There we go, guys. Not sure what that guy's doing. Not sure what that guy's doing at all. Now we're just on cleanup duty, though. Can Soren kill this guy? No, he has an Iron Lance. Phew. Oh, baby. So next up, Titania kills basically whatever's left. Because she kind of has to. Soren, I may as well give him kills while he's here. I may as well, because he's still useful at this point. Okay. <sighs> this game took no time in picking up the steam. None whatsoever. Ruthless. This guy has a jabby. See, I can draw him really easily right here. It's defeat boss, actually, so let's think. He'll be standing here. Yeah, so I can kill this guy. I'll shove a machine on. There we go. This is a pretty good experience. I, I exclusively want the boss range on right now. So I'll stand to Tanya right here. Nope. Nope. Work with me. Right here. She'll stand right here. She can do enough, right? So let's see. 24. Yeah, that's fine. And then I can easily finish him with a regal sword. It is effectively a rapier, so it is effective against armor knights and cavaliers. We shove. And now he's in range of the boss. And I'll heal Shinon just for the experience, I guess. Again, not sure if I'm using rice long term, but... Every little bit helps. Maybe Shinon has to take a hit somewhere down the line. I doubt it, but better safe than sorry, man. Okay. Does that guy die? Yeah, see, this is exactly why I turned off the animation for this chapter, though. You can see how ridiculous this would be. You know, maybe Soren can even get a level up. I don't think he'll be able to, but maybe on the Myrmidon. It's hard to say. Oh my gosh, Titania. Not like this. Don't do him like this, Titania. What's really scary is that she was almost in danger of dying. Oh, this guy gets doubled, though. Yeah, it's just that little bit of stat variation. God, that hurts. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> like, they can actually injure her. Phew. Uh, yeah, Soren can actually pick himself up a kill. The archers are not concerning me at all. Oh, but what is concerning is now the boss won't move. Oh, he moved regardless. So, as long as Shinon kills this guy, we're still in business. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do, pig, that'll do. See, I guess I did need to heal him. And before I get myself killed, let's make sure that this works. Oh yeah, this works and then some.
I'll use a Steel Axe because my Iron Axe is getting pretty busted. And I have plenty of Steel Axes to fall back on. I fought the Crimean Army before. The Imperial Guard has some skill, but the rest are a poor joke. Which will you prove to be? Hmm. Perhaps you'll offer me some entertainment after all. Shut up, Maijin. If you attacked us because you thought we were with the Crimean Army, you made a mistake. I left my post years ago. Now I'm nothing more than a common mercenary. Ah, so Titania actually was part of the Crimean military. Which makes sense. She is a god. S. That means nothing to me. You're not of day in. You're armed and you're here. It's our job to destroy you. Simple, wouldn't you say? Come, dog. Prepare yourself. I'd just as soon as avoid this bloodshed, but that seems unlikely. If that's the way it is, I'll not hold back. Please, hold back just a little bit, though, because Ike really needs to step his game up. Phew, okay. You really can't tell with this one. She's just that good. She's just that good, man. And Soren can kill this guy. And of course he gets adept. Why would he not get adept? <sighs> oh, that hurts. That hurts my very soul. I guess animations can come back on now. And Ike should body the boss. If Ike misses twice, I'm done. You'll never see me again. Straight up. Ah, you're nothing more than a bunch of ragtag cell swords. Who are you to oppose the end? You are so terribly ignorant of your position in this world. You refuse to listen to us, and then you attack without provocation. Is this the way of the day in army? You're a cheeky little monkey, aren't you? Once you're dead, you'll regret sassing me, boy. Is that right? Oh, shit. That didn't work out. You'll regret your decision to oppose day in. Wah, wah. So Ike brings it on home. Please, dude. Come on. Come on, dude. There we go. There we go, baby. Yes. That's what I need to see. More of that. More of that. Whoa. That was hard as hell. <laughs> we did it, though. We did it. Didn't take as long as you might think, but just that first opening move. That's where the game was made or broken, man. And I really wish Provoke would have kicked in on those archers. Because we saw the first time, it very well can. I just got a little bit unlucky. Would have been a lot easier if I would have been able to pick off one or two of them. But I digress. Did we suffer any casualties? Any wounded or dead? No, excellent. Well done. Oh yeah, this conversation actually changes if you do. <laughs> it's funny. The game actually acknowledges how bullshit that chapter is. It's not bullshit. It's actually quite fun. But it's very hard. It acknowledges how hard that chapter is, and it almost expects you to lose somebody, so if you do, they give you completely lines of text here. Completely different lines of text here. I don't know. Taking out these day-in soldiers may have been a bad move. Uh, hey, Shinna, what are you doing? This swine's got some nice weapons. Besides, he ain't gonna complain. He won't need him where he's going. Shinna, get a hold of yourself. We can't afford such behavior right now. Steal from the dead on your own time. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's just like, not right now. <laughs> what? You judgmental little... Sword, Shinon, stop this at once. This is no place for us to waste time bickering amongst ourselves. You tell him, Titania. Thanks, Mom. Let's clear out of here. We have to tell the commander what happened. Let's take this road. We should be able to cut through the forest then. Huh? Something wrong? No, as I said, this road... Wait, Ike. I just saw something move on the far side of that thicket. A wounded soldier, perhaps? Let's go have a look. Careful now. Oh no. Did you find anything, Rice? It's a woman. Leave her. We shouldn't get involved in matters that don't concern us. <laughs> Soren, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Thank goodness. It looks like she's merely fainted. Right, we better take her with us for now and make sure she's alright. Give me a hand, will you, Rice? Of course. I don't like this. What do you like, Soren? Okay. That's gonna be it for today. God, that chapter 4 was quite a step up. If this is what Maniac Mode has to offer, then we are in for a fun time, I think. Oh boy. So thank you for watching. So if you did enjoy this, feel free to leave a like, comment, do whatever you want to do. And make sure to let me know who you would like to see in this playthrough. Anyways, guys, till next time, have a good one. Peace.